Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Shuggy Love Craft, and what I'm going to show you today is how to take your picture and create it into an SVG file. So as you can see here, this is a, a picture, and it's a picture I saved from Google. It's that pumpkin season, so that's why I'm using this. And then from there, I transferred it into SVG. So what I did, I pulled up a pumpkin from um, Google, and then I right click and I hit save as, and I saved it. I'm not going to do it right now because I've already saved it. Then I went to um, remove that BG, and for, to there I would upload the picture. Um, it's that clip art. Then what you do is once it's uploaded, it moves the background, as you could see. Then you could either download it as a high resolution or as a preview resolution. So I just did the preview resolution. So you hit download and save. I'm not gonna save it because I've already saved it already. Then right from there, you could go to picksvg.com and here you could upload the picture that you've removed the background, um, which would be this picture, right? Once you upload it, as you could see, it will turn it into an SVG file. From there, you would then download your SVG file. Then you would save it as an SVG. I've already saved it, so I'm not going to save it now. Right. And then from there, you would um, another way you could do this is by going into Inkscape and upload your picture, import your picture and um, remove the background there. Now, it's going to take a little bit more steps with Inkscape because it's going to have all the details in the background. So let's go to file and let's go to import. And we're going to import that pumpkin. Hit OK. Um, from here, you would go to path, and then you go to trace bitmap. It's gonna open up this toolbar. Um, I'm gonna click on multiple scan. Now you're gonna hit remove background. You could leave it as the scan that it is, um, because as you can see, there's multiple tones of color in there. Um, and then you could just hit update. From there, you could hit okay. Once you hit okay, it will change um, into the SVG. You could close this out. Now you could separate the two, right? So you could remove this. You could delete this one. Now you have your file here. Now to see that it is the SVG, um, you could click on the nodes and you'll see the nodes there. What you could do from here now is you could separate all these different colors if you want it to look just like this pumpkin. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and we're going to remove these areas and we're going to delete them. These are all the extra colors that was in the pumpkin. And as you can see, it's removed, right? Um, you could click on the screen and you'll see if there's more things that need to be removed. All right, there's nothing else. So it's just the one picture. From here, you can hit save and save as and you will save it as an SVG. I'm just gonna save it as pumpkin two because I've already saved it, just to show you. And you hit save, right? Now you could go into your Cricut Design Space. Let me remove these. And then you'll go to upload. You'll go to upload images, browse your image, and then your image will be saved as a uh, pumpkin SVG. Then from there, you'll just hit save. And then you'll click on it and insert your pumpkin. All right now here, as you can see, it has that wording that was at the bottom of the picture. I'm sure you're not going to want that. You could either click over here and hide those before you hit make it. Right as you can see, it's hidden, or um, you could weld everything together um, if you want to weld everything together. And then once you weld everything together, now it becomes one cut file. Then you could take one of these shapes, take the square. Um, you're gonna just make it into a little small rectangle. Then you're gonna highlight the pumpkin. You're gonna hit slice. Once you hit slice, you could remove, oops, wrong thing. Then you can remove the pieces. All right, and then from there, you would hit make it. 
Um, let's see what the one from Inkscape look like. Now let's um, try the one that we did in Inkscape. So we're going to upload. We're going to upload image. We're going to browse. And I believe I saved that under images as pumpkin two. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and save that. And then we'll insert that one in. So as you could see, I, I don't like the way this looks. Um, it looks real distorted. Um, don't look like something I could work with. Uh, so I'm gonna choose the other way because this looks very sharp and ready to cut. Okay, guys. So um, once again, thank you for watching my video. This is Miss Shuggy Lovecraft. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.